Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Ancestors Legacy. Today, we're going to be carrying on with the German campaign, and so far, even though we've just done one mission of this, it's actually one of my favorite campaigns, um, even though it's just the first mission, but I just I kind of like these kind of outfits, uh, especially because they remind me of the Knights Templars and Assassin's Creed and all that kind of bits and bobs so I'm looking forward to going and carrying on with the series if you do like the series guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button smash that like button and turn on notification bell to keep up to date on the series anyway enough talk let's jump straight into the game for the first time I saw the cruelty of the order with my own eyes I confused how the Pope could be so silent towards their crimes then I realized it wasn't a matter of faith or belief, but of privilege and power. With my realization came the will to break my shackles. I cast off my knight's mantle and renounced the faith forced upon me. Soon I stood with my tribesmen side by side against the knights. The years spent fighting alongside the knight brothers taught me all of their techniques and strategies. I was acquainted with their tactics, and I knew how to use their weaknesses against them. In 1263, on the fields of Lubava, we were about to strike at the Order with all our strength. Meister Hammerish! Herkus's bandits are attacking and plundering our villages! How far away are they? Too close for comfort! They are headed in this direction with a large army! Prepare for their attack. Conrad, you will command the left wing. We will need more men. Ja, richtig. See to it. We have enough resources to expand and strengthen our camp. Make them regret the day they were born. Alright, let's just get some loads of troops here. Yeah, let's get some infantry. Uh, we're gonna get some archers. It looks like our main general here is actually on horseback. On so he can command uh, this area. So it looks like we're gonna be defending some sort of town or some sort of massive castle. Alright, so it looks like we're we'll finding some sort of um, city that's defended by walls um, against um, some invaders. So this is going to be an interesting battle, guys. Alright, cool. We've got some reinforcements. We have some infantry. We've got some archers, which I'm going to get on top of these walls here. Oh, this is going to be an interesting battle, guys. I've been waiting for a battle like this. Just a massive like siege kind of thing. I was really looking forward to this. So I'm glad we've got a mission, guys, like this. Um, Alright, let's bring our forces up. We need everyone to the line here. Apparently our job is to defend, oh dear, our job is to defend the left flank. Okay, it looks like they're attacking me, but we don't need to worry about that. I believe the AI. This is unacceptable, Conrad. They're a mob of peasants, not knights. I believe the AI actually controls the right. a roof over his head, taught him, raised him, civilized him, and he stabs us in the back. He will pay for this! I warned you not to let him fraternize with the natives. Look where we are now. Yeah, yeah. Lesson learned. Sneller! Yeah, yeah. Lesson learned. Conrad, you are a beast, you mate. You don't like anyone, do you? Alright, I'm building some traps here. Let's get into defensive formation. So, like I was saying before, I believe the AI is actually going to hold the right flank. So only that we need to worry about is the left side over here. So I'm going to get all my infantry into some sort of defensive line or formation. Uh, so we can actually hold off any enemy attackers uh, to in defensive formation as well. We have built a trap near the entrance. So obviously if they do breach, uh, hopefully we'll take out a lot of enemies that do manage to get through. Have we got any more reinforcements down here? Oh my god, there's so many troops. They were testing us. Let's prepare for another attack. Alright, let's get our boys moving up. We've got loads of troops now. We've got loads of backup. Nice. Uh, get some archer towers for defense. So we could do that. Nice. Uh, Alright, boys. Everyone can move up to the front. Guys, look at that, man. How sick does that look? Just massive Knight Templars just running in to defend their homeland, their town, for their people. 
I believe we're fighting against Slavs, which are Polish, um, or either that or it's Prussian um, rebels, I believe. Uh, I don't know if this is actually based on true events that happened. I would love to know that. If you do know this, guys, put it down in the comments below if you know if this game's actually based on true events or true battles that's actually happened in history. I would love to know that because you know I love my history, I love my, um, all my war things and stuff like that. But if you think that I'm actually sounding in a good mood, that is because I am. I have just, um, been given a... Um, uh, well, an email from my one of my universities that I want to go to once I finish college, and I've got a conditional offer which I am over the moon. I've got a conditional offer which I am actually over the moon with, guys. Um, I mean, I know conditional offers aren't actually permanent because I mean you have to like you know get a certain amount of marks or grades or whatever but I mean I was expecting not even to get any kind of reply back from the university so I was like yes when I <laughs> when I got the the um the reply there all right here come the enemy infantry but we've got a nice defensive formation outside of our castle entrance here so I'm gonna follow you and um, make you troops fall back we do have two um, archer defender towers here to help hold back the enemy infantry guys we've got some archers in the center let's get you some better awareness so once they come forward a little bit it looks like we're gonna concentrate on our towns um, which we're well, not really bothered about because our job is to defend this um, main entrance here to stop the enemies from breaching I'm gonna bring Conrad a little bit more forward to give some motivation to our troops but yes guys <laughs> But yeah, if guys, if you are all going to go to any unis or colleges uh, once you finish school, because I know this is a year where everyone is choosing, well, especially in my country, everyone's choosing either where to go to which uni or college or whatever if you're finishing school. I'd love to know in the comments what your future is, uh, what you want to do for your future. Are you going to go to college, uni, even a job straight after college or high school? Put down in the comments below, guys, what your interests are going to be this year and what your plans are going to be doing. Uh, hopefully, even if I do go to uni, I'm not going to stop YouTube. Obviously, videos will be hard to come by, um, but I will not forget my YouTube because, I mean, I still love my YouTube. Um, I've been I've been doing YouTube for a while now, and I mean I've met some awesome people. Uh, like my viewers are awesome. I, I wasn't actually expecting to have viewers to be honest, but um, it's really cool to find people that are actually interested in the same kind of game. Well, same kind of um, game quality and stuff as I like the play. So it's pretty cool to find people like that. Uh, as you can tell, I've been doing some uh, well, actually a lot of Minecraft lately and I'm not gonna stop doing that I'm gonna start doing that a lot more and um, I thought that was a pretty cool combination to start doing start doing a lot more kind of World War 2 based on Minecraft as you know I do do a bit of War Thunder and one of my viewers did suggest me to build the biggest plane on a War Thunder and that is quite a challenge but challenge accepted I will do that guys Probably it's not going to be probably the the same length. I don't actually how wide or how um, long the. I believe it was the BV238, which is a German um, bomber plane, which can also go on water. I believe can land on water. Anyway, my viewer did suggest me to actually create that plane on Minecraft, and I probably will do that. But um, obviously, I'm gonna have to have a look at the design a lot. Um, and to try to figure out where I'm going to start building this plane. I'll probably have to do it in a couple of parts, but if you want, guys, I will. Um, I would love to know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you want to um, see Matt, well, join me as well as build my, well, build my plane um, for the BV238, you are welcome to join me while I do that. So what I could do is do different parts of me building my, building the BV238 and I can um, let you tag along and do videos of me actually constructing it and you can watch us do it. It'll probably be like a speed run or something, but I mean, I'm, I'm happy enough that if you if you just want, um, put the comments down below to like kind of like, you know, how to build a BV-238 in more Thunder. I could probably do that if you guys would like, and I'm thinking about probably doing a lot more of how-to builds 
on Minecraft, especially for like you know like more base for World War Two stuff. And I'm probably gonna prob um do that more after I finish my Ancestors Legacy campaign because. Um, I do really want to complete this series, I really have enjoyed playing Ancestors Legacy just because it's kind of like in this kind of Metal Evil kind of era of a game which is a strategy game as well and you know how much I love my strategy games guys so I'm going to be doing a lot more of this but once we have finished Ancestors Legacy I will probably will be doing a lot more Minecraft based videos so if you would like me to do a how to build the BV-238 in a Minecraft the biggest aircraft on War Thunder uh, then put your comments down below and I will try and see that happening I don't know when I'm going to be uploading that kind of video guys because obviously again it's a big plane uh, as my uh, viewer did suggest so it would be quite a challenge so I don't know how many videos it would take to do that and um, instead of just making like a two hour long video more of them they attack like lambs to the slaughter let them send all they have we'll end instead of just making like sooner. a two hour long video I'll probably just have to like, explain the parts Catapults. Oh man, it's such annoying when you know you start talking and then the um the bloody characters and the AI start talking and like into the game. It's so stupid. Alright, take these catapults, come on. Go, go, go boys! Charge! Go lads! Oh that's holding them off. Oh that's not nice. Oh guys, look at that! Oh that dude on the front there is literally going on with his sword. What a legend. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this game guys, I'd love to know your comments of if you've got any interest in the Metal Evil era, uh, what is your favourite time of periods in the era. So again, I'll, I'll kind of like, um, you know, like the Holy Roman Empire with the Knights Templars, the Crusades, also I kind of like the Roman era, especially when I was in school, like in middle school and stuff. I used to, well, I live in the north and it's pretty close to where um, you know the Hadrian's Hadrian's Wall that the Romans built to keep the Scots out. Well, um, I think it was the Scots, but anyway, um, we're pretty close to that. And there's actually a museum, and you can go and you know like stand on Hadrian's Wall, obviously in the museum and that. It's like an outside museum experience. It's called Sacadunum or something, but it's a really cool experience, guys. And that's really got me into history a lot, especially. Um, a lot in the World War Two and stuff as they well. They die like cattle. Such a waste of life. They attack with no strategy, no plan. Damn fool. We have to defend our bodies. Yes, base. I know, sir. But the reason I also got into World War One and World War Two is because I said in my last video, uh, my grandparents. Obviously, a lot of people's grandparents have um, been in. Well, more likely experienced the two wars or any other war like World War One, World War Two, the Vietnam War, and the Korean War, and all that kind of stuff. But my grand, well, I believe it was my great grand, um, great granddad that was on the HMS Hood, and my grandma's dad, and he was one of the survivors after it got blown up by the Bismarck. And there wasn't many survivors on that, and I did mention that in one of my videos when I was doing the HMS um, video. What was it the HMS Belfast, I believe I was doing, um, when I was having a look at that on War Thunder. But my, 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 actually my granddad as well, my granddad's dad, he was a desert rat. He was a desert rat in the army, and he's told us so much history and so much. I mean, like a lot of my family have been in, like, in the army. I mean, my dad was in the army for a while until he got blown up off um, a bridge from an accident, and um, so that was pretty nerve-wracking. Obviously, I wasn't born when that happened, but when he was younger, he was in the army and he got blown up off a bridge. Uh, that was a long story, guys. So I'm not gonna go into that. But I mean, he's alright. He's alright. Uh, he survived, and um, surprisingly, he hasn't actually got any injuries as well. He's okay. Um, so that's pretty interesting how somehow you managed to recover from that. But I mean, the family have definitely been in a lot of, uh, um, well, been a part of a lot of conflicts. Um, my, well, I think it's really it's only me who hasn't been in the war. Well, my mom hasn't been in any wars um, or the, in the military. But like my dad, um, some of my dad's side of the family, and some of my mom's side of the family have been in the military. So I mean, it's pretty cool. And I love the new system that my, well, the English government have setting up. Um, I don't know if any other country does this, but apparently the English government are now setting up where they're given, um, I don't know if it's free tickets, but they're making it super cheap for veterans, for military veterans and stuff. And I really think that's a great idea. 
because I mean the, it's obviously expensive to travel these days and people that have risked their lives to save will give us the life that we have today. I really find that great from the government to allow you know, military veterans extra price in that but I mean I really think it shouldn't just be military veterans in my opinion. I believe it should be you know police it should be police forces, uh, NHS, all of our services that we use, you know, so, uh, but it's it's a good start, you know, it's a good start, but I mean, I hope the government do even better um, once we eventually leave the European Union, if that does happen on the 31st. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Alright, lads, come on, let's take out these catapults and doing our heads in and they're destroying our bases, come on. We should be able to take out catapults. Yeah, they're that, that, that definitely gone. Alright, these guys are actually destroying these enemies here. That's a good, uh, good job, guys, good job. Uh, let's replenish your squads, but... Yeah, everyone, it's pretty close to the weekend now, so probably why not upload this video will be Thursday. Um, so what are your plans for the weekend? Oh dear. I've just realized they are breaching the center. The looks like the AI are actually struggling to hold the center. Um, okay, that's not good. I might need to get some forces to hold that. Uh, okay, that's a little bit of an issue. Uh, we do have more enemy forces over here to the left. Some of the archers are firing down in that massive mayhem of a, a fight down there. But the only horseback we have, um, I believe we have spears. Uh, what do you call I think they're spears, uh, which are, which the horse, well, cavalry, sorry, I'm getting the here. Yeah. The cavalry struggle against the spearmen, so I mean, I think we should be good there. Alright, nice, so it looks like we've held the back of these enemy forces. Uh, they're still attacking our AI line, but it looks like they're holding on, which is pretty good. Alright, nice. Brothers, they flee in panic. Mach and regroup. They won't escape this time. That's such a cool little view that you can do on this game. Look at different characters and stuff. Yeah, Alright, so it looks like we need to bring our forces up here to chase off the retreating infantry. Why do I feel like this is going to be some sort of trap? I mean, literally all the enemy have fallen back, so it looks like we're going to have to charge them. But I mean, this does not feel like some sort of thing we should be doing. Um, but, oh well, looks like we're going to bring all of our forces to the this area guys I mean, look how tight it looks I want this over and done with brothers we will celebrate a great victory today there they are get them show them no mercy alright oh okay alright oh my god there's so many there's so many come on everyone charge take them out Conrad use your horse back and charge <laughs> look at them now he's horse no 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 Nice. He looks so dodgy on his horse though. Like he looks like he's just like riding. Um you know, he doesn't look like he's even riding his horse properly, he looks so stupid. Alright, come on boys, let's finish these off. Keep firing, take them out. It's a trap! They knew we would run after them! It's a trap! I knew it! Oh my lord! Look on the map, guys. Look how many they've got swarming us. Yeah, help survive the ambush, bro. Survive the ambush. Are you joking right now? How are we supposed to survive this? Oh, my lord. Look how much infantry they've got, though. Look at them all. What? How are we supposed to survive this, then? Oh, my lord, guys. We are so done here, man. We are so done, guys. I don't know what to do. We've got, like, literally... Oh, my God. Survive the ambush. There's so much infantry. We're going to get... Oh, my Lord. All right, okay. Well, I kind of did say that we're going to get ambushed, and there we go. And I could tell easily, but, you know, uh, we've got a bit of an issue here. All we can do now is just go on forward and um, try and take as much infantry as possible. But I don't know how we're going to survive this, guys. What do you think? Are we going to survive? Brother Conrad, what a pleasure. 
Yeah. Bring Go him to me. Leave the others. I want him alive so I can make him suffer. Where are you, Conrad? Well, I'm not gonna tell you, Oma, Oma. But it looks like that dude's been eating too many strawberry jelly jam donuts. Jesus, did you see his face there? <laughs> he was like covered in Conrad, strawberry jelly jam. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to smash your brains in. Bro, I don't think you understand the definition of not hurting someone because that's definitely not it. <laughs> Alright, okay, so looks like we need to go back to our camp or wherever that is with avoiding these infantry troops. Perhaps so we... I was too hasty, Brother Conrad. I'm open to negotiations. I'll happily negotiate which you want cut out first. Your tongue or your gut. Pericus, that's not the way to get someone to come out, you know. That's the way to getting someone ambushing you. I mean, we can ambush them back. Alright, let's get Conrad out of here and return him to the camp. Man, what a stupid thing. It looks like we've just lost all of our infantry forces. Somehow Shice. this Conrad managed to survive. Forward. Forward. Come on, Conrad. Is it Conrad? I think it's Conrad. <laughs> oh, Shiza. Shiza, get out. Do not let them see you. Are you are so done? Get out of there. Go, 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 Conrad. Go, go, go. All right, okay, okay nice. to tell the others. The Pope needs to know what happened. Fortunately, the stables are still standing. I'll need to find a horse if I want to get out of here. Men, we have to spread out. Tell the others that these bastards aren't getting out of here alive. Das uns geht. Lass uns gehen. Lass uns gehen. Lass uns gehen. Forward. Forward. Schneller. Schneller. On the move. Lass uns gehen.
Spiritual victory! No mercy! Zabijać bez dziwności! To victory! Schneller. All right, we need to find a horse, uh, but there's a lot of scouts around here, so no we need horse. to maybe take them out first. Go on, comrades, take these blokes the out. Almighty. I don't know if he's, he's going to be able to survive. <laughs> go on, comrade, go on, go no on, comrade, mercy. go on, boy, take them out, nice. Oh, this dude maybe is badass. Look at him, you. proper Assassin's Creed dude right here. Go on, son. Destroy them. Use your hidden blades. Yeah, I don't think Titan... Uh, well, actually, saying that, um, I was going to say the Knights Templars didn't have hidden blades, but I mean, on Assassin's Creed, I mean, um, Connor's father, he was a Templar, and he had a hidden blade. I forgot what he's called again. I haven't played Assassin's Creed 3 in a long, long time, but um, I believe Connor's father did have a hidden blade, so... And, and I mean... As well, the guy from um, Rogue as well, Assassin's Creed Rogue, he was an assassin and then turned to a Templar and he had hidden blades, so I mean, I guess they could have them. <coughs> Alright, let's move up, Conrad, let's go and get you a horse and get yeah, the absolute God. hell out of here. Come on, Conrad. Uh, I don't know if we should engage with these infantry, I don't know if they'll see me. As long as we don't go on that light That's circle that we shouldn't be spotted. They destroyed the whole city right well this is gonna be a bit of an issue <laughs> Jesus look how much infantry they've got in this place Forward. we definitely lost this battle all right <laughs> oh my god all right I wish we had some smoke bombs on us again Assassin's Creed but I mean Schneller. Wouldn't it be easier just to run along rooftops, you know, and then yeah, get your horse? That would be a lot easier. Smoke bomb the enemies, get uh, run along the uh, the rooftops, and you know, do some hidden blade shots. All right, let's keep moving up. Ugh, guys, there's so many infantry right now. These games really bring me back to you know, like to Skyrim, um, Assassin's Creed, uh, Metal. What was it called? Oh my God. Kingdom Come Deliverance, you remember that game? If you have never played that game, guys, that Kingdom Come Deliverance is a great game. It is one of the greatest games I've played for Medieval. It was such a cool game. It was FPS. Um, I think it was also third person. I can't remember, though. I think it was third person. But it was such a great game. I really enjoyed it. If you haven't played it, guys, you're missing out. Bastards. I need to go to another stable. And also for Honor, it's kind of got like a little bit of a Fort Honor kind of style. Um, the way yeah, the game goes on a little bit. Obviously, you're not third per you're third person on um, for Honor, but I mean, I like these medieval games. Especially, I'm happy to find one which is a strategy medieval um, game as well, Moving. which is pretty sick. All right, come on, there's got to be horse here. Yes, this one's perfect. Now to find a horse. horsey. Where are you? That one's scared. Oh, let's clap. Good horse. Now take me away from here. Move! Move! This is the part where you start hearing that song where it goes oh, run! Du, 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 Don't let him escape, damn it! Schneller, Schneller! Oh dear. Conrad, you yeah. better get your butt out of here, man. You better get out of here. Go, go, go. I can see him in the bottom corner Schneller. of the map there. Where is he? Oh my god, look at the comrades! Go on, son! Go on! God has abandoned you, Conrad. In fact, he was never with you. What? Yes, go to the order. Tell the others what happened here. 
Your end is coming. Well, we managed to survive the day, but Hercus, you are one some person who likes, you know, strawberry donuts with jelly on them. He likes to consume a lot of them. But thank you so much, everyone, for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. And again, I did not realize that the medieval times had so much strawberry donuts, but you know, you learn things every day. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day.